So now time to fill in this add page, which we've already linked through uh, from our admin list of pages. We're going to click this. We're going to be presented with a form where we can fill in, fill in everything. And that will be submitted to our database table as a new row. So let's get started then on the form first of all. So over inside of admin, we're going to create a new file called add.php. Inside of here, we're going to require in back a directory app start like we did on the listing page. And let's output the view first of all, because we're going to build up the form first just to see what kind of data we need to work with and uh, put into our database. So over in our views under admin, we're going to create a new file called add.php. And this is going to be our template. So again, I'm going to copy the header and the footer. And in here, we'll go our form. So let's add a title to this called add page. And then here we're going to create a form. So the action is basically where this is going to. So if we output our base URL, which remember is our website URL forward slash admin forward slash add dot PHP. So it's basically submitting it back through to this page. So this page here, and we can do all the processing out here. We also then have a method as well. This is going to be post because we're going to be sending this as post data rather than data in the query string. And then we can fill in our form here, but let's just require this view in just now. So we're going to require view root forward slash admin add.php. And we see this page here. So let's build up our form then. We're going to have labels, which are going to be for a specific field. And then we're going to put our input within these labels. This doesn't matter too much if you're not interested in the markup. But there are styles already uh, for the forms, or at least very basic styles, just to make this look a little bit prettier inside of app.css if you're wondering how these are rendered. So we have an input field in here with a type of text, the name of this one is going to be title and the ID is going to be title just so this label matches up with this input. So this is the first thing that we have and we can add up here some text like so. So we can type anything we want into, into here. I'm also going to turn, turn auto complete off for this form just so we don't get auto completion. And just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to copy this, paste it down here, and I'm going to change this to label. So that's the label that we're submitting through to our database table. And again, change this to label, change this to label. And this is still the type of text. So we can copy and paste down again. This is going to be the slug. So we're manually creating the slug, although you could auto generate it. And then finally, we're finishing off with the body, which is slightly different. So I'm going to get rid of this input. I'm going to change this to body. I'm going to change our label text to body. And this time it's going to be a text area. Now the name of this is going to be body. The ID is going to be body. And we can keep the columns and rows at 30 and 10 as was generated there. And we see the following. So we've got our title, label, slug, and body. And we need to finish off with a submit button. So we have an input type of submit and the value is whatever you want to show on that button. So we have the following, there we go. So we can enter this data. When we click add, this is posted through to the same page. So what we can do is obviously not in our view in our logic up here, we can go ahead and check if that form was submitted and then we can go ahead and send that data through to our database table. Now we're not going to be looking at validation here. So it might be something you want to look into and include some kind of validation solution here. So you can output any errors along the way, really depending on what you're putting into this, your fields might be completely different. So we're going to skip validation. 
and it doesn't really matter too much as well since we know what we're entering inside of this very small application but as uh, something like this gets bigger you obviously want to uh, take validation into account so all we're going to be checking up here is if not empty the post super global we've already seen the get super global when we looked at passing in the page in the query string but this is posted data because we've cho chosen a method of post so this is our post super global and this contains our label title slug and body as defined in our form so we're going to create local variables here for these so we're going to assign the value of post at the key label to this label variable and we can duplicate this down and just quickly change these so we've got label title slug and body and just to make these look a little neater we can go ahead and align them up so now what we want to do is actually insert this page into the database so we'll create a variable called insert page and again this is going to be a prepared statement the reason being is that we are taking data that has been submitted by a user even though it's an admin and we're placing that directly into our database so we need to make sure that we um, sanitize everything that goes through this so the query is insert into the table name the columns you want to insert into so label title slug body and created although we haven't uh, submitted a create that date in the form we can still generate it in here so remember we're submitting through label title body slug and then we're going to generate the created date now we pass in the values and these are all going to be placeholders like we saw before when we used a prepared statement but this time we have more of them so we've got label title slug body and then for the created date although at the moment it's auto generated because we can see within the structure we have the default as the current timestamp we can go ahead and explicitly define the now function that we saw earlier as well so that will update that created date automatically so remember the query hasn't been run yet because we haven't executed it but we can go ahead and say insert page execute and remember in here we need to pass in an array of our placeholders and the values that are associated with them placeholders so we say label label and I'm going to duplicate this down just to make it a little bit quicker title slug body we can go ahead and line these up again label title slug and body so just quickly to recap we're checking if the post data is not empty ie the form has been submitted we're storing these in local variables we're creating a prepared statement to actually insert on these placeholders here which remember this does not run the query then we're executing and now once we have stored that we want to redirect the user back to the listing at the admin listing page so for this we can use the header function to go ahead and send a header to uh, redirect the user so the location for this is going to be base URL so we're just appending this on and then it's forward slash admin forward slash list.php so all that's doing is redirecting the user so everything's uh, done now it should be working so let's add a title so we'll say third page third page in fact let's give that an exclamation mark we'll set our slug we'll set the body and we'll hit add and there we go so we've now got third page remember we're ordering by the created date so this is now at the top and we have the slug here that we can click on go through to the third page we can see the, the third page uh, on our home page as well so the users can now see that and we're now good to sort of go we've got the ability to add in a page we can click this again and add another page if we want but what happens if we want to edit this page 
Well, we're going to create a very similar structure to this because all we're really doing is getting the data from a particular page and we're going to resubmit that and this time update the data rather than reinsert it. So the next thing we're going to work on is the edit page.